The Houston Astros are currently looking for a content producer and one of their required qualifications is to be an expert in After Effects. Meanwhile, the Chicago White Sox are also looking for a video person and they also want you to be proficient in After Effects. And finally, Stanford Football is currently recruiting a creative video producer and you guessed it, they also require After Effects proficiency. Which begs the question, is learning After Effects an absolute necessity to become a sports videographer in 2022? Hey guys, I'm E, I'm a professional sports videographer, and when I started my career in television actually about 20 years ago now, a cameraman was a cameraman, a video editor was a video editor, and a VFX person was dealing only with visual effects. So these were all very different jobs done by different people on a full-time basis. But today things are a bit different, especially in sports where you're more often than not a one-man band. So to be hired as a professional sports videographer these days, you're expected to be able to handle a professional camera, of course, but you're also expected to be able to edit on multiple platforms at a professional level and also produce visual effects at a professional level. And I know that a lot of videographers will watch this and think that it's ridiculous that we're expected to be good at all these different jobs, but at the same time, we also have to be honest and admit that both the cameras and the software have evolved tremendously over the last few years and have become more user-friendly than ever before. For example, these days when people are shopping for a camera or a lens, they'll try to find the one that has the best autofocus and they'll argue about how quicker and more responsive the autofocus is on one camera versus another, even though really it's just a matter of milliseconds. Meanwhile, up until I would say eight years ago, everything I shot before that I did in manual focus. And so did everyone else that was using a professional camera. And it's not because we were showboating, it's because it was the only option. We didn't have autofocus or auto white balance or any other automatic feature that we take for granted today. And the same goes with post-production, because some of the things that used to take me two to three hours to produce five years ago, now I can literally do by pressing a button. So at the end of the day, yes, there's a lot more work to be done and there's a lot more skills to be learned these days, but it's also easier than ever to learn and apply those skills. Which leads me to today's topic, After Effects. I do believe that in 2022, you absolutely need to learn how to use After Effects if you aspire to become a professional sports videographer one day. You might not use those skills every day, but they are still very important not just because it's often included in the job requirements, but also because it's the best way to show off your level of dedication to your craft. What I mean by that is this, when people watch a sports video, rarely will they notice great camera work. I mean, a fellow videographer will probably be able to recognize your ability to remain stable and follow the ball smoothly while always being in focus with the perfect exposure. But for most people, they'll just look at the overall piece of content and say, hey, that was a great video, but they won't make the connection with your great camera skills. And in my opinion, it's sort of the same for video editing. If we're talking pure video editing with no extra effects, most people who enjoy a video like that, again, won't necessarily make the connection to great editing skills because they'll have a much more holistic approach and see the entire video as one thing. But when you add visual effects in there, if they are on point, the viewers are definitely going to notice that. And the first thing to come out of their mouth will be, wow, those visual effects are fire. So they'll definitely enjoy the video, but this time the difference is that they'll know exactly why. So bottom line, there's three main reasons for learning After Effects as a sports videographer. Obviously, the first and most important reason is that your videos become that much better. Number two. As I just explained, it makes you and your skills more noticeable and more impressive in the eyes of everybody, including potential clients and future employers. And number three, if you're a freelancer, having visual effects in your videos is a great way to justify charging your clients more money. Because they can clearly see now the difference between what you're doing and what all those cheaper videographers are doing. 
By the way, this arrived in the mail today. It's one of Sony's most recent budget-friendly mirrorless cameras. And a lot of people reached out to me about this camera since it came out. Everybody wants to know how good this camera is in comparison to the Sony a6400 that I reviewed uh, already. And uh, especially that this one is $200 cheaper too. So yeah. I'll be testing it over the next few weeks, so expect a full review on this channel as soon as possible. So now you're probably watching this thinking, I don't know anything about After Effects, I'm really intimidated by it and I have no idea where to start. Well, the good news is that you're exactly where you need to be to start your After Effects journey. And the even better news is that there is a channel on YouTube that is just like mine, fully dedicated to sports videography, but this one is specific to After Effects. Amigos, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Today we'll be creating a sports promo. The channel is called CM De La Vega, and this guy is legit. He creates visual effects for the NFL. He also worked on a few 30 for 30 documentaries and he's actually been on my channel before. I appreciate you, E. Thank you for having me on, on your show, on your channel. It's an, it's an awesome channel. I love what you're doing. Basically, the CM De La Vega channel is a huge library of After Effects tutorials that are all sports related. So it's the perfect place to go if you already have a basic knowledge of After Effects and you need inspiration and a lot of help to spice up your videos. Simply scroll through the thumbnails and when you see one that looks like something that would work well in the video you're working on, just watch the tutorial, implement it with your own footage, rinse and repeat. But if you're a total newbie and you need to learn the basics first, there is also a CM De La Vega After Effects Master Course, which I'll put a link to in the description below. There are two courses in total, but the first one is perfect for anyone with zero to little experience in After Effects. You'll learn everything you need to know about the workflow, the tools and the technique from a guy who produces visual effects for the freaking NFL. So for only 50 bucks, I think it's a pretty good deal. There's even a free preview that you can take a look at if you're not fully convinced. But personally, I believe that this is the perfect place to learn After Effects for any sports videographer who wants to learn new skills that apply specifically to the type of content that we produce in the sports industry. So once again, I highly recommend that you start learning After Effects if you haven't already. This software is getting more and more useful and necessary every year, especially in sports. So go check out CM De La Vega's channel, his masterclass as well, and I promise you, you'll become a VFX beast in no time.